Hi there, it's me again. In today's video, we'll walk you through another really interesting feature of NetApp, which is customer journey. You will learn was it it, how it works, and how you can use it to optimize your budget and your sales conversions. Let's get started now. The customer journey feature in Nessa shows you how customers interact with your store across different channels, including ads, organic search, and in-store activities. These interactions are called touch points, and Nessa's connect this point to create a path allowing you to see the entire journey. This journey helps you understand your customer behavior, identify which channels are performing better in terms of driving sales, and recognize which channels need improvement due to customer drop-off. With the clear visions of your customer journey, you can take effective actions to increase sales conversion and optimize your ad budget. You can view your customer journey within the app in two ways. Aggregated view will give you all interactions and journey at the platform level, giving you a comprehensive overview. Detail view will break down the journey to show you exactly which specific campaigns or ads your customer came from and how much they spent. This view helps you to understand customer behavior in detail and see how well your marketing strategy resonates with your customers. Now let me show you within the app how customer journey works. Firstly, let's look at the aggregated view. Go to pixel, then choose customer journey. We'll do some setup within the configuration tab. Let's start with the attribution window. This will set the time span during which events are tracked and attributed to an app or channel. Here I choose seven days. Next, set the first touch point, which is the first interaction you want to start your customer journey with. You can choose just one starting point like this or multiple starting points. Let's move down a little bit. Below, we have two toggles. The first one is the show Shopify events on customer journey toggle. By turning it on, you can also see actions customers did in your store such as viewing a product, adding to cart, or initiating checkout. This feature is optional, so if you only want to see which channels are leading customers to your store, then you can totally skip it. The second toggle is the Show Stage View option, which provides detailed information about each stage at the end of the canvas. Once you've finished, click Apply to view your customer journey. And here is our customer journey. Each node here represents a touch point with different channels, including TikTok ads, Google ads, organic search, and interactions with your Shopify store. By hovering over a node, you will see the top three inflows into it and the number of drop off For example, if I hover over this node, you can see that the infos leading to these interactions come from Google Ads and the number of drop-off. These nodes are connected by lines that show the path of the journey. The thicker the line, the more common the path among your customers. You can also drag to the left to see the rest of the journey. Currently, I haven't set any limit of my customer journey length because I want to see the entire journey here. However, depending on your needs, you can adjust the minimum and the maximum touch point you want to display to better capture insights. We'll go back to the configuration tab and adjust the journey length. If I enter a minimum value of two here, this has will display all journeys that contain two or more touch points. Conversely, if I enter a maximum values of four, as will only display paths that include four or fewer touch points. Let's enter four in the maximum value field, then click on apply. Since I've just turned on the show stage view toggle, you can see a report at the end of the dashboard with the detailed number of order made and the sales value at the end of each stage. 
A stage is the period between one clicked event and the next. You will see the number of purchases, the sales value, and the average order value at the end of each stage. This allows for better comparison between stage and help you build your conversions funnel. In case you want to check the specific campaign or channels that your customer has gone through in a specific journey, you can utilize the detailed view. Choose the journey you want to delve deeper, like clicking on the touch point like this. Then click on View Details. Within the detail path, you can see exactly what is the campaign customers click on. Up here, you can also filter down to the ad level for a deeper view. So, we just gone through all you need to know about Nessa's customer journey from what it is and how you can use it. It's time to utilize its strength to optimize your resource and reach your customer effectively. If you have interest in our app, feel free to click in the link in the video descriptions or on the comment sections. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!